A COVID-19 vaccine mandate won't force staff at this rural Missouri hospital to get the shot, CEO says. It will make them quit so Tobler can't afford to alienate any more healthcare workers, but he believes a COVID-19 vaccine mandate could do just that. Such a requirement won't make his unvaccinated staff get the shot, he says. It will make them quit. That's why Tobler disagrees with the vaccine mandate announced by President Joe Biden last month that will apply to millions of healthcare workers across the country. These are arguably the most crucial group of workers to have inoculated, because the vaccines would protect them and their patients, and keep the staff healthy so they can continue working. That's why they were among the first to be offered a COVID-19 vaccine. There are indications that vaccine compliance is high among health care workers. Many professional health care associations have surveyed their members, the majority of whom have said they are already vaccinated. But despite evidence vaccines are safe and effective, some health care workers have resisted. At Scotland County Hospital in rural northeastern Missouri, the difference is stark. Just 60% of the staff is vaccinated, according to the hospital. I do believe COVID is terrible. I believe it's dangerous, she said. I watch people every day. And I watch the fear in people's eyes every day. But I do not think the government has the right to step in and mandate and tell us what we have to do. But at the same time, I'm not going to personally go against something that I feel very, very deeply in my soul would hurt me she said. Mandate is going to backfire the vaccine mandate announced last month could apply to as many as 100 million Americans, including the 17 million healthcare workers at facilities that receive funds from Medicare and Medicaid, like hospitals, home care facilities and dialysis centers. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services is still working to develop the rule for the mandate, and it won't likely be issued until sometime later this month. But CMS is urging healthcare workers in these facilities to begin getting vaccinated immediately. I criticized President Biden's mandate, Tobler said. I thought it was a mistake, because I think it's going to backfire. After losing nearly 18% of his nurses during the pandemic, Tobler believes that not requiring the employees to be vaccinated helped prevent the hospital from losing more workers. A lot of people were pleased that we honored their right to choose what they want to do with their body, he said. And I think that may have helped retain some staff that may have been tempted to jump to other places because of salary or what they perceive as different working conditions. Still, Tobler can't make sense of why so many won't get vaccinated. For people who have rejected inoculation or remain on the fence, he says, Watching a loved one or someone they know get seriously ill or die is often the catalyst that changes their mind. But even that won't convince these healthcare workers, who have spent months watching and caring for COVID-19 patients. It's inexplicable Tobler said. Balch couldn't be convinced by her own doctor, Shane Wilson, who also works at Scotland County Hospital. He's talked with staff members who don't want the vaccine and most of them remain skeptical over what they consider to be unknowns, like whether they will have health problems in the future as a result. It's incredibly frustrating to try to get the understanding across that you're not just protecting you, yourself. We're doing this to try to keep our neighbors healthy, Wilson said. We're doing this to try to keep others from losing people. We're going to be short a lot of nurses Tobler feels his approach is simply a reflection of the community where he and his staff live and work. Just 23% of the population of Scotland County has been fully vaccinated, according to data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Jamie, meantime, said he's not vaccinated because I just feel like my risk of being exposed to COVID and what it would do to me is not greater than the risks of the vaccine. Alan's daughter, a nurse at Scotland County Hospital, also hasn't been vaccinated, he says, despite working and caring for COVID-19 patients through the pandemic. A mandate, he said, would violate my constitutional right. And where Shelby works, my daughter, she'll just quit, so will, like, three or four others. So if they mandate it, he said, we're going to be short a lot of nurses.
Back at Scotland County Hospital, Balch echoed that, saying a mandate would hurt healthcare workers and the care they provide. If you lose your healthcare workers, she asked, then who's going to take care of the people that do have this disease? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.